What do you do when you've got a problem with a shipment internationally and you're trying to get it to the States but things don't go quite as you planned? My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. So today I'm going to read an email that I received this morning from somebody looking for some advice and I think it's a great scenario to teach. So they write, Hi Stephen, I'm hoping to get your opinion on something. Back in February, we paid our freight forwarder for a final inspection and door-to-door -door delivery from the factory to our 3PL in California. So the first comment I'll make here is why would you have the inspector be the same as the 3PL? I think that was the first mistake here. You want to keep each of these partners honest and separate. They go on. The shipment was small, about only 400 units, but we were trying to get them out during the Chinese New Year. I can definitely relate to that. It was very tricky with uh, the last year of shipments. So sometimes just trying to sneak one through, small or otherwise, you cut a couple corners, I get it. The order was picked up as agreed, and we were told that the shipment tracking number would be provided soon after. There were a few delays. That can be relatable. But we ultimately had no reason to believe that anything had gone wrong. Fast forward to this week, and we finally find out that our freight forwarder was actually a broker and our shipment is still in China. And the freight partner that our freight forward worked with had not been paid. So the shipment is still sitting in their warehouse. Needless to say, they've been non-responsive and we're going to pursue a refund through Payoneer for what that's worth anyway. We don't know anything about this company, that I'm redacting the company's name, but they had been easy to communicate with so far. The company indicated they had worked with another company for over a year without issue and recently had experienced this issue and no longer does business with them. So the question I have for you, would you suggest working with company one in this case to get the shipment delivered to our 3PL or would you engage a new freight forwarder to pick up from them and deliver it as planned? It doesn't feel like company one is on the, the in on the sort of a scam or anything but it's tough to say for certain yet. This was our first attempt, first big snag we've hit as a seller, bit discouraging, but we're trying to move forward anyway. Thank you for your thoughts. So I, uh, I think this one's pretty cut and dry. Uh, I would create a new order and let this one go. I don't think uh, the person who wrote me this morning has any reason to trust anybody involved. And, and I'm, not, I'm not a 3PL expert, I'm not an inspections expert, I'm not an international tracking expert or any of those things but if the guy who was supposed to do the inspections was supposed to do the freight forwarding i wouldn't trust the items to begin with i would think that the whole batch is suspect so i would uh, be concerned that the batch that comes in could be complete garbage product and i i wouldn't trust anything so it's, it's only 400 units i would get a refund through pioneer and i would just create a new shipment potentially with a new partner. So sorry you had this experience. Uh, I'd recommend you sign an agreement with your next partner and I recommend you keep each of your partners uh, separate and do not cross or blur the lines. Any shortcuts involved with international shipping, especially as it relates to China, always results in potential problems like this. Uh, you know, I, I have some strong words. Uh, I would say uh, as it relates to China, I think it's a culture of bribery and I think that everybody who's involved in business over there has a completely different culture set and value set and they're willing to cut corners they're willing to burn bridges on first-time orders because they know that the recourse and your ability to go after them is quite low especially on a 400 unit order so because of all of those reasons I think you just go next uh, and you have paid your tax in the form of delays here and potential lost revenue. So uh, if anybody else has an experience like this, you wanna send an email to podcast at myamazonguy.com. I'd be happy to go into detail and give you my own opinions on your own story or your own situation or problem, or leave a comment on this video. I do read every single one of them and answer them myself. My name is Stephen Pope, I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. Click here for additional videos on logistic problems and solutions that I have to offer.